About a year ago, I bought a Kensun HID kit system. It came in a nice, shiny, metal looking box, and it actually came with English instructions. The specific HID kit I ordered came with a wiring harness, two ballasts, and two bulbs. Let's go ahead and test the HID kit to see if it actually meets the specs that it claims to. So let's get to the interesting part. Let's test the warm up time, we'll test the amount of current it draws, and we'll see about reignition, which means turning it on and off again to see if they turn back on. Alright, and last but definitely not least is the reignition. So, as you know, most HID kits turn them off, turn them on, and then you turn it back off. It's a gamble whether they'll turn right back on or not. So, with Kensa, let's see how they run. And for some cars, when you turn the key, the ignition key, the HIDs will turn off and they'll turn right back on. Half the time, one of them won't turn on, but let's see how this one does. Let's say you didn't hold it enough, let's try it again. They turn right on every time. So overall, the Kensen HID kit, I would highly recommend. I've had it for about a year. I've never even had it once fail to ignite. Unfortunately, they do draw a little more current than they claim. They claim 35 watts, and they draw in about 42, 43 watts. So they're, they're, they're draw more current than what they say, and probably not a 55 watt light output that you would get with another brand, but it's not, it's not terrible. It's like pretty close. You gotta remember if you're putting a lot of these on, it's gonna it's gonna draw more current than what it says, especially when it ignites. So that being said, everything else on this HID kit looks pretty good. The really enticing part is that it has a two-year warranty when you buy it on Amazon. They claim to have a two-year warranty. I haven't had to claim it yet, but at two years you've already gotten your money's worth for $70.